Hey guys, it's Erica. We are going to be checking out uh, B A E. I think. But I, do you say it? It's B A E. Yes, one seven three. I think I call them Bay one seven three. Uh, B A E one seven three. Or I'm 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 not even trying to remember Korean numbers right now. Uh, but uh, Il Chil uh, what was three? Some Il Chil some. I think. Uh, I'm probably wrong there, but whatever. Saran Heta uh, Love You, I think, is the English title of it. I don't have it right in front of my face right now, but I think that's what it is. I'm super duper excited to be checking this out. This boy group had an interesting debut because they were leaning more into like a cutesy sort of concept for their debut. Um, so, and again, <laughs> a lot of what these uh, boy groups are doing for their comebacks uh, after their debuts is they're sort of doing like a 180 with it of just being like, they, they sort of, um, I don't know if this is gonna follow that sort of route or what route we're going with. It's loved you, so it's past tense too. So could be like a breakup sort of song. Um, but uh, we'll see if they're going for the, the like 180 sort of route everybody else is doing or if they're just sticking in their same lane that they sort of debuted with. Um, but I'm super duper excited for this. So let's not waste any more time with me talking and you know, would it let go? like Tetris. That was a cool intro. Oh, he got them Nikes though. Blue and orange color palette. I'm liking it. What are we doing here? Is it a moody song? This is already very different. They're doing a, oh, a switch up on us already. I'll stop talking. <laughs> oh, it is moody. Loved you. Oh. Oh, I heard the growl before I saw the, the cheetah. Is it a leopard? Oh, whoa. Heavy coloring. Correction. What's happening? That was a nice edit. Oh. Oh, it's a beat. Sad a beat. Leaning into the retro trend a little bit. Did they auto tune voice or am I tripping? This reminds me of Beast. Does anybody know who Beast is? <laughs> Anymore? Oh! Well, what? Expensive music video, though. No choreography either. They gonna make me react to the dance practice. Is there not supposed to be any vocals? They go with through it. They need hugs. Oh, we can do a group hug. Aw. Oh. All the homies playing without you. That's rude. Is that all the time? Or is it just her voices? I can't tell.
Oh, they're fighting now. Oh, that fire looks sick. That's super sick. This music video was so expensive. Maybe not, I don't know. Or it took forever to film because there's so many shots in here. Oh, that rainbow was sick. They're better when they're together. What's up with this animal? It's a super dope, like, shot, though. As a CGI looks good in black and white. Interesting. That was very interesting overall. The song, it, I said, like, Beast, sort of reminds me of that sort of era of K-pop and stuff, but I specifically said just, like, Beast. I'm like, almost fiction-esque vibes um, to it. So it's interesting that boy groups are kind of going for the sort of third gen k-pop sort of sound like throwing it back a little bit um but it was really really cool i really like it. it's very different wasn't expecting that so it, it's a 180 from the cutesy to moody sort of vibe um and sound too as well is this i wonder if this is a single or if there's um b tracks associated with it we can we can look right now with the power of google at our fingertips um every little thing is you is that what it's called wait why isn't there Thing popping up on Spotify. Is it because it's Spotify? So I can't see because they're, the album isn't on Spotify yet, which is weird. Um, sometimes that happens though, so I don't know if this is just like a single or if it's something else. Um, but it's very, very interesting. And there, the music video is almost a BTS I Need You slash Run sort of concept. Not really, because that overall concept for the those comebacks for BTS were very different than what this is. But similar in the concept of, you know, when all the members were separate and they were all just like moody and not sort of, um, they were just like in the feels of, I guess we could call it like that. I'm horrible at explaining it, but, um, of how their members, but when they got together, they were happy when they were friends and that sort of thing. That's how the concept is very similar, but, um, very different in execution of the videos itself. This one was expensive. I think it was expensive because not only do you have that expensive CGI, excuse me, CGI thing with that, like, cheetah, um, but you also have, uh, tons and tons of shots that were more treated as, like, insert shots, um, and zero choreography sort of stuff like that, but they were using a lot of primarily stuff on location, so maybe that would be cheaper, I don't really know how it works for Korea in terms of budgeting and what costs more money, um, but it was super, super sick. I really liked it. The editing was super dope. You don't really get videos like this anymore of, of just, well, for one, no choreography. For two, just sort of those crazy insert-esque sort of shots. Or you know what it kind of reminds me of? 20, uh, 21's uh, ugly <laughs> in a way, but that's still the same um, sort of, I guess, time period when Beast was popular too as well. Or a thing, I should say, when Beast was a thing, not a highlight. Um, but um, it sort of is giving me those old school sort of just like vibes and the music video was really sick. The editing was dope. I really like how for when it's sort of, I guess, the parts where they're together, the color palette, it's very blue and orangey. And then when they're separate is when all those colors would just sort of go kind of just like crazy and stuff. But it was, it was really, really cool. Really dope editing, really dope shots. All the insert shots and just everything just in general was really, really cool. The editing was fantastic for this too as well. Um, I really, really liked it. I really liked the sound. It's refreshing to get this sort of sound because again it's something that I associate with an older generation of k-pop um but it's also just refreshing into the what um her, uh, the other stuff I'm reacting to recently so into the in terms of the world of k-pop but I really enjoyed it the music video was sick we saw zero choreography for this hopefully there's either a performance video or a dance practice I'm not expecting a performance video I'm expecting more like a dance practice where I can see the choreography for it too as well um and it'll be interesting to see how this is like choreographed because title tracks they're not really coming out with this sort of sound um really recently and stuff so it'll be interesting to see how it's choreographed but um I liked it I liked it okay BAE 173 come through come through with the feelings 
come through with the feelings. Go to your thoughts and comments down below to that about BAE's 173's uh, loved you in the comments down below. If you like this video, give video a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When you see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or the description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> So, 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 so,